The push to keep protesters farther away from the Republican National Convention is intensifying. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson sharing his worries directly with the head of the Secret Service in D.C. just a few hours ago. Jason Calvey is live for us with what that could mean for Milwaukee. Jason? Hey, Ted, well, just about two months, Republicans from around the country are going to gather right there at Pfizer Forum, and they're going to have huge fences up around this venue. We don't know exactly where those fences are going to be, but you're going to need a Secret Service credential, a special credential, just to get inside. We did know the Secret Service was floating as one of the main pedestrian entrance places. This street right here, this is State Street. There was going to be a secondary uh, main pedestrian entrance as well. And then just right across the street, at Pierre Marquette Park, that is a place where the city is floated to have a protest zone. Republicans worried having that park, that protest zone, so close to one of the main entryways could create a conflict zone. Milwaukee has not officially said where it will place the protest zone. Pierre Marquette Park is a block and a half from Pfizer Forum. It's the green in this shot. The city planned it for the protest zone for the 2020 Democratic National Convention. And city leaders have floated it again for this summer's RNC. So it's just a completely different circumstance. You know, we, we've had the, the summer protests of 2020. We had January 6th. Uh, we've had the uh, pro-Hamas protests on dozens of campuses. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson just met with the director of the Secret Service. Found a little frustrating, and uh, you know, she, she basically said she does not have the authority to change their assessment, and uh, they, they based it on their criteria that they've been using for years. And the top Senate Republican Mitch McConnell in this letter also urged the director to act. The coalition to march on the RNC says this park is actually too far away. Uh, for us, it's really our duty as uh, citizens here in Milwaukee to have a chance to get right up there and let them know that they're not welcome. Two months to go until the RNC. Will things change? I got more of the sense that it's it's really based on precedent. They've, they've established criteria. They've done these assessments in the past, and they're afraid they're going to be sued by potential protesters under First Amendment grounds. We're going to be marching within sight and sound of the RNC no matter what. So it's up to the city of Milwaukee to set up and decide where that protest zone goes. And so it could be here. It could be somewhere else. That's up to the city of Milwaukee to decide. But we did learn from Senator Johnson's conversation with the Secret Service today that the Secret Service is considering potentially not using this street here, State Street, and then the other street right there, Kilbourne, which was originally suggested as two of the main pedestrian entryways for the convention. He was learned today that the Secret Service may be considering not using these two streets, which actually border the protest, the potential protest zone here at Pierre Marquette Park. We're live here. Jason Calvey, Fox 6 News. Uh, we get a, better get a decision soon. We're about 60 days away from this. All right, Jason, thanks.